ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு த பி ஒன் பி ஒன் கிளாசிக்கல் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இட்ஸ் பி ஒன் கிளாசிக்கல் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் பேசிக்கலி திஸ் லெக்சர் இஸ் கால்டு பி ஒன் ஓ ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஜீரோ ஜீரோ ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் தி இன்ட்ரோடக்டரி பார்ட் அண்ட் தி இன்ட் இன்ட்ரோ ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் த இன்ட்ரோ டு பி ஒன் ஓ ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த லெக்சர் this lecture has no mathematical parts there is no complicated stuff in this lecture it will be easy for you to understand this is just to smoothen things before we begin into the more complicated parts so as i have promised you that this lecture series will have a very elaborate expansion of what basic physics is so i will explain almost everything that is associated with the classical mechanics we will start from the basics we will get in the complicated part okay in time so um so uh, what i am going to start off is now that i am going to tell you something some information regarding this series so if you are an expert in physics then you don't need to uh look through all these lectures you have to if you are a, if you are a good person who has a reasonable understanding in physics you don't have to come back until 110 so you can skip these 10 lectures and if you are an expert and and a very good expert then you can maybe take you can wait until p120 as well it's up to you so i'm not going to say do any complicated stuff until p110 so we will do the basic stuffs okay almost all classical mechanics basics i will do a lot of problems we will do a lot of things in within this will be a very comprehensive course it, it is supposed to deliver some foundation level physics to you okay that's my intention with this program so i want you to get um is get in ease with this program so that that's why i am introducing some stuff along with the video now let's get into some physics now now what is the need for physics okay that's an important question what is the need for physics and what is the need for classical mechanics so if you uh, i can explain it in a certain way okay let me take an example if you are standing in a plane in a place some place anywhere around the road anywhere let this be you or me whatever let this be the person now this person is standing at the point x let there be a ball a rubber ball or a football whatever so this is at a distance d from the person and you can what you can do now is is the first initiative in physics is that you can record all this information regarding the ball and the person and all the things that are surrounding them so you can record like uh, digitally or in a paper or mathematically which is what we are going to do with this program in physics we look at things mathematically so you can record all this information you have recorded okay now someone came in and kicked this ball in this direction so the ball is shifted to this place okay now the distance traveled by the ball is x and this distance let it be d dash okay so what happened to the information that we have collected what happened to it well the information has become something else well not completely different but it has become something else with an additional factor of position of this inside okay this factor came inside that's what happened okay then now we have got the two equation well some two equations or two forms right two forms of this whole system now this system is going to change this system is changing into this that's what we observed now let's take a 
same case in a different perspective okay different viewpoint you assume that this is the surface of earth and you are the guy that same guy sit standing on that ball on that place with a ball here and shifted to here right the same case and you are rotating around the sun right in an elliptical orbit you are rotating around the sun let it this be the case and what happens now it's the same case as here but now here you are rotating around the sun we are considered considering the fact that sun is there sun is there okay so if you are doing this then what happens you can now introduce the system of earth system of orbit system of sun the force with which you are attracted to the sun and all this information now you have a broader set of information a bigger set very big set of information before kicking the ball this will be the information after kicking the ball the broad set the big broad set will look something like this all the same except for the fact that the ball has shifted okay everything else is the same if it happens in in an instant okay that means it, the kick happens just in within a fraction of a second so that displacement is recorded here right so this is very useful if you can predict the future like this it will be useful right if you can predict the the future like this kind of a setup if you have this kind of a setup then it will be very great right now how can you do that well that's where physics comes in physics use this kind of a method classical mechanics purposefully deal with this kind of a situation you are going to handle this kind of a case where you devise a set of equations some equations that can explain the situation that is happening and you have another equation for a different state right for a different state you have another equation and for the same state it, you have a different equation so this difference can be compared and it can be used to predict the future that's the most important part you can predict the future by looking at the equation that's the use of physics now with that aside okay if you keep all that thing aside now i'm going to introduce you some different thing one different small thing along with this video which is called if you let's take the same case okay you are here x is the place there is a d and the ball and there is the ball here and this d dash now if you look from this frame okay the frame okay i'm just calling this a frame you will understand it why so in this frame if you look at the ball the ball in this frame before was d distance away from the frame now afterwards it's d dash distance away from the frame okay now what about this frame okay this frame what about that frame well now the ball was initially at zero distance because it was in the frame now afterwards this will be x distance from the frame so depending on the frame from which you are looking at things things and physics will change the physical laws can change right the laws can change the equations can change okay so will the la laws change it's a question which we will not answer right now it will change anyway but we are not going to answer it right now but let's look at the case as in we were going around the sun now look at the sun if you are if the ball is here some place and afterwards it will be here so there is an acceleration in this direction so this acceleration means when you are looking at it from this frame your ball is accelerating for an instant right after sometimes it comes to 
different state so the velocity is increasing for a particular second if you look at look from this frame things is different that ball has moved from this point to this point right now as the frames are there like there is a frame with which you can look at things now my question to you is is there a frame in the world where you can sit and relax and everything around you will be the same or it won't change even anything moving will be the same is there such a frame is there such a frame where everything will be the same well there isn't that means every motion or movement that is happening around the universe like as in the case of our solar system you will be moving with some velocity even if the ball is still okay if the ball is still you will be moving around the sun in some velocity and the sun is moving around some black hole with some velocity in our galaxy right the whole part of the galaxy is moving around in, within itself and the galaxies will move around a bigger black hole so effectively a thing that is still is actually not still so everything is moving around there is no point with which you can say that everything is still and and that you can call that that's the place of absolute reference point in other words newton called it inertial frame of references there is no inertial frame of reference okay so every frame of reference is relative and it will be moving or in motion with respect to some other frame of reference it will always be like that okay so with that piece of information of frame of reference discussed here i'm going to end this introductory part i'm going to remind you that we haven't discussed any mathematics or complicated stuff in this part we won't be discussing it right now but we will get there we will get into deeper points deeper pits of information for the next lecture which is p101 next part of the lecture 101.1 so it will be handling introducing the concept of units okay units will be introduced as the first thing i'm going to introduce first serious thing okay so thank you